Hello folks, today we're going to talk about the shelf life of testosterone. In other words, how long does testosterone store or how long does testosterone keep for, right? So the first place you want to start with something like this is very straightforward. You just look at the packaging provided by the manufacturer, right? There, in most cases, you're going to get an expiry date. That's going to tell you how long you can keep your testosterone for before you should use it, right? Before it's, it sort of expires. Now, in all cases, you know, in most cases, you're going to get some sort of information like this. But let's say, you know, you've got your testosterone and you threw it away and you, now you're wondering, you know, how long does this particular testosterone that I have store for? How long does it last for? So I'm going to go through a couple of those with you. And to, what we're talking about now is the unopened testosterone, right? These rules or guidelines change once you've actually started using the product. But let's talk about unopened testosterone first, right? So to start off with, and I'm going to put a list up over here so that you can see it. So for Sustanon, the shelf life is three years. For Nibido, the shelf life is five years. For testosterone enanthate or cipionate, the shelf life is five years. For propionate, it's three years. For testogel, it's three years. And then for tostran gel, it's two years, right? So th these are just a couple that I'm giving you guidelines for the most common ones used in testosterone replacement therapy. Again, the first port of call should be what the manufacturer says, right? Always look at what the manufacturer recommends first, right? And what I've provided here is based on the manufacturer's uh, guidelines, you know, that's on the products that we can obtain here, you know, in the UK and Europe. But again, your manufacturer might be different, your product might be different. So always check that first and use what I've provided as just sort of guidelines, general guidelines. Now, what happens? That, that's, that was for when you're storing testosterone and you haven't opened it. But what happens when you open that ampule or you open that vial? What are the guidelines for that then, right? Again, always go to the manufacturer first, but in many cases with this situation, they're not gonna provide it. So according to the CDC, the guidelines for a multi-dose vial is 28 days or a month. So once you've opened it, once you've pierced that uh, vial and you've used it for the first time, you then have roughly a month to use the remainder of the contents, okay? Now, again, this may be shorter or longer depending on the manufacturer, so always check that first. And then finally, for single dose ampules, right, the guidelines are quite strict. And for this is basically, once you've opened that ampule, you use what you need to use, and then you have to toss the rest away. Now, I know a lot of us don't like that, it seems a bit wasteful, but those are the guidelines manufactured by, or, or recommended by the manufacturer. This you should probably stick to and follow the guidelines because they're there for a reason. However, you know what you decide to do, if you decide you know, to go against those guidelines, that's your prerogative, but it's also your responsibility. So if you do decide, well, I'm not throwing this away, I, I want to keep it you know, and, and you know, use it for another injection, well, then just understand that that comes with risks and you have to accept those risks yourself and take responsibility for them. So that's it really, a simple subject today, you know, shelf life of testosterone, not too difficult. I hope the information there helped answer any questions you might have regarding how long you can keep testosterone for. So if I helped you in any way, please click the like button and I'll see you in the next video.